Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is your yearly 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Libra. So I've laid out the cards um, by month, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and there's two cards per month, just for clarification. So let's start with January. So, in January, I kind of feel that there's, um, there might be an illusion of feeling stuck, um, not wanting to move forward in a situation, maybe not seeing the truth of the situation, so as represent truth and clarity. This person could easily unbind these loose shackles, this blindfold. Um, and there's a, a kind of like a sense that, that you're, mindset in, in your mindset you're keeping yourself stuck um but it's illusion because you have the power to break free the sevens um a seven of wands one's energy is about action taking action and um, one's energy are full of power opportunity potential so i kind of think that you're you're able if you dig deep to push past to achieve and um, to keep moving forward and there can be a bit of frustration maybe in January um, in trying to achieve your goals maybe on the business front maybe on the career front maybe on the financial front and um, maybe they're not coming fast enough and you know you're struggling to see the end in sight maybe there's a bit of confusion on the way maybe there's some self-sabotage, maybe there's some negativity around you from negative people, whatever that situation is. This shows that you're strong enough to keep persevering, to keep working at it, to dig deep and take action and keep moving forward. <clears throat> because potential is around you. So the idea is just to try and keep focus. Don't get confused, don't fall into a negative pattern keep focused and move forward <clears throat> and then we have judgment and the queen of cups for february so uh, this is interesting so the the judgment is about forgiving the past letting go of the past negativities past baggage You've come to a point in your life where you just need <clears throat> to let go of anything, anybody, any, anything, any situation um, that's holding you back um, from reaching your full potential. And you get to a point where you may well have been on the wrong, wrong end of karma, but now karma is turning in your favour. And you, yeah, you're asked at this point to maybe forgive yourself if you've made past mistakes and um, forgive others if you can for their past mistakes maybe towards you or negative actions towards you and this is where nothing's hidden from judgment this is the impartiality of judgment and karma and yeah i, ju I just think that there's a real awakening with this card um it's an awakening to one's self to your own capabilities, to your own um, opportunities, surroundings, the potential for the future. It is a kind of rebirth, it's a karmic rebirth. Um, it's a karmic gift to push you forward, um, to start redirecting you on the right path to reach your potential in life. And the idea is that you do listen to judgment, you take notice of the lessons that you've learnt in the past, and though you understand the lessons and appreciate them, you move forward now with a new zest for life, um, a fresh new beginning, and walk away from anything negative um, from the past. So it is a real turning point, Libra. And the Queen of Cups, um, maybe this is somebody helping you through this karmic time, maybe it's been a bit turbulent, Libra. Maybe you've had a few ups and downs. 
and the Queen of Cups energy is very much pouring oil on troubled waters, um, a calming influence, and she also speaks of a need to, you know, to find love, for example, if some of you are looking for love, or to um, appreciate love again, uh, you have to first love yourselves. You have to first see the beauty in yourself. You have to first find that emotional centre within yourself. Because only then can you project um, that calm and stability on your external life once it's calm and um, in control of your internal life. So yeah, it's a really powerful card, the Queen of Cups. And for March, we have the Devil and the Ace of Wands. So again, I find it interesting. There's this almost like, um, yeah, I mean, in January, you came up against something similar, feeling a bit out of control, um, not wanting to see truth of the situation. Um, the Devil is an illusion. It's an illusion. Um, the Devil uh, takes power. Um, but he only can take power if you give it away. And this, this is your power. And the idea is that uh, you regain a sense of self through judgment and through the Queen of Cups. Funny enough how these cards work. Um, and once you establish a sense of self, you take power off the devil and he doesn't and he doesn't exist anymore in your mind or in your world because the devil only exists if you let it so it is an illusion it can be a very controlling energy it can represent either you wanting to try and control your own life um but it, it, you know it it is a kind of like don't fall back into all patterns of of where you can get on the wrong side of judgment it has to be done in the right way um, or it can be losing control, feeling out of control, and being confused. So, yeah. And the idea is that you snap out of this mindset, and certainly this kind of mindset as well, Libra, because it doesn't serve you anymore. And this is what the cards are saying. You're aware now. You're aware that these negative energies may well cro crop up. But you've got the emotional stability, the emotional centre to conquer these energies if you, if you allow yourself to. So this can just be an illusion and just fade away. And when you do do that, you allow opportunity in. This is a new beginning. This is um, the Ace of Wands. This is about new potential, new opportunities, new communication. It can be about being blessed, being given to you from the universe. There may well be opportunities arising in March time. So to be aware of those and just don't fall back into any negative state of mind. Don't allow people to control, don't give your power away. Um, because this is reminding you that, you know, power is on offer to rebuild your life for the better. It also says, funny enough, like the Seven of, of Wands, to keep taking action, keep moving forward, as does it in April. So this is about long-term planning. This is where you take the opportunity, you seize the potential in March, and you start to see long-term future, long-term planning for the better, prosperity, success on the career front, the business front, the financial front. This is where you're trying to manifest your reality. And this is a planning and strategy phase. And you see the globe here? It represents the world. This is you trying to shape your world, how you want it to be, how it suits you. So you're grabbing hold of opportunity and you're using your intuition. Your intuition, your heightened ability to 
reason, um, listen to your gut instinct to guide you. So whatever you feel in April, it's the right thing to do. And then we move into a to March to May even. And again, this can represent self sabotage. This can represent self deception. So the whole point of this is to try and be truthful with yourself, be truthful with situations, see the truth of situations, and also try and see through anybody who tries to deceive you, who may not be telling the truth. Um, yeah, I mean, Libra is an exceptionally perceptive sign, um, so you would see through these people in a heartbeat. Um, so anybody that's deceptive, who tells lies, um, not wholly truthful, you know, just be wary in that, in that situation because it could bring you down a little bit. But this again, this is bringing change. You know, this is if you just ignore negativity and focus on your opportunities, your potential. This is about changing your life for the better. This is about real opportunity coming your way and it's beginning to manifest in your life. I mean, pages are quite um, immature cards, so it's the beginnings of something that could be great. Yeah, this is long-term strategy, beginnings of manifestation with the pages. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful, Libra. And then we go into June. And, yeah, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. So this is you focusing now. You're grounded. This is Earth energy. You're grounded. You know where you're going. You know exactly what you need to do to manifest your reality, to manifest your goals, to manifest your visions. And this is you working hard to achieve material wealth, prosperity, um, security in the home and the emperor is all about achievement he provides the structure the foundation um, the know-how to make this successful so this is your knowledge your experience putting structures in place to um, you know make give this a consistency um, yeah progress at a consistent pace and this is a sign of achievement the Emperor is a sign of success as well this is a sign of you taking control of your life yeah for the better um, yeah from a business point of view um, it could be career it could be a new job um, but yeah this is real focus determination perseverance hard work and yeah that's exactly what the Emperor is all about he's very much about structure He's very much about making it happen, making it happen in the real world. And, you know, this is you making your, your world a reality. You know, the emperor holds the staff of life. He shapes his life to suit his needs. So, yeah, it's, um, as I say, a beautiful combination. And then July, again, we have another page, another seed of change, and um, the beginnings of something financially rewarding. You've gone from an eight to a page. There's progress. And it hit this point. I mean, the page can be an immature card, so maybe this is something that you haven't got all the experience on. Maybe this is something that you're working towards and you need help on. Um, this can also be a sign of good news as well with the Page of Pentacles. Um, you know, it can be a sign of progress on the financial front, on the job front. Um, and Temperance says, you have to... Um, it's almost like having the right blend of ingredients, maybe, to make this happen. So knowing all the facts, having the right... Um, it could be ingredients at work, having the right um, opportunity for success and um, this is all about um, balance so 
yes, it's fine to actually go for financial opportunity, abundance, prosperity, security, um, but always do it with a balanced frame of mind. And it starts from reconciling. Um, it could be it could be differences of opinion. It could be, um, you know, this is about opposites being blended to create union. Um, so it could be um, very much about, uh, yeah, it could be re reconciling um, different opinions within yourself. Maybe there's um, two or three different ways to go. It also is reconciling the past and um, differences in the past. It might be with other people um, to make this happen. There's some kind of like um, reconciling or balancing or tempering of um, a situation. It could be now, could be in the past. Um, to propel you forward for the future. Um, and the temperance also urges caution. You know, see the toe in the water and one foot on the land. And this kind of like talks about um, the need for just being cautious. It urges caution, um, you know, whatever this is, whatever you're going for. Um, but it also says that there's a real balance between, um, it's almost like the spiritual and um, emotional journey that you've been on and also the earthly journey that you're on as well, the earthly success. So just make sure that there's a balance between you know, your emotions, maybe how you are with other people, as well as focusing on uh, material aspects of your life as well. And then, again, another seven, we have, um, this is, you know, transformation, um, beginning to see um, pentacles in your life, and it's slow, um, and even though it's slow, it can be a bit frustrating. You have some frustration here, Things aren't moving fast enough here, but they're beginning to materialise in your life. And you're making it happen, Libra. You're making it happen in your own life. And you're using your earthly energies to take control of your life. This is a card of taking control, using your gifts to manifest your goals, your visions, goals, your visions, into reality. This is exactly the... The red cape is about transformation. Yeah. And, yeah, where the devil tries to falsely control, he takes power, you give power to the devil. This is about you taking your power back. This is about you using your power to manifest your reality in the way you want it to be. And it's frustrating. It can take time, but the idea is to stick at it uh, because this is inspired by the heavens. You see how the right hand um, reaches up to the heaven and how the hand reaches down to the earth. This is bridging um, the earthly energies of earth, air, fire and water and also the heavenly energies. And it's blessed. It's infinite. You see the infinity symbol. So, yeah, as I say, just have faith, give it time. Keep to your resolve. Stay focused. And if you do, my goodness, again, the three is about manifestation. This is about manifestation. This could be people helping you manifest your reality, manifesting your goals, your visions, beginning to see them pay off. And my goodness, you know, you go from a three here to the Queen of Pentacles, a sign of success, a sign of abundance, a sign of prosperity, a sign of achievement. And this is a real nurturing card as well. Um, it's a real nurturing card. It's, it's actually providing, saying that you've got the right skills, knowledge as a foundation to allow your ideas to grow and flourish and achieve success, or the King of Pentacles, I should say. So, yeah, to grow, flourish and become abundant. And, you know, the King of Pentacles is very much about the detail, as is this card, the detail, focusing on the detail to make it happen, which is exactly what the magician says. You have all the capabilities now, all the earthly energies, 
and all the heavenly energies to manifest your reality and it brings success. This could also be, the king could also be somebody helping you on this journey, somebody supporting, advising and guiding you to material wealth, prosperity, happiness in the home. But it is all about the detail and yeah, as I say, because you've got a couple of pages here, just make sure you do focus on the detail and look at the facts carefully. And then October. So October might feel like a bit of a balancing act. You see how this man, he's juggling. He has one foot off the ground, one foot on. And the pentacles are earthly energy. So it kind of says that you need both feet on the ground to um, manage choices, uh, balance your life again, tying in with temperance again from earlier, finding balance to achieve material gain, um, get balance in your life. Don't forget other um, your personal life, friends, family, as well as focusing on material gain, security in the home and what have you. So both feet need to be firmly on the ground and it, is it, it talks about making sure that you need to be centred. And if you do, this is the nine of pentacles. It says you're nearly there, you're nearly at the ten, you're, you know, you're nearly at the achieving phase and this achieving your goal. And this is um, about abundance. Um, the nines are always about kind of independence, um, independence, self-sufficiency, being able to stand on your own two feet. Um, liberation in some respects liberation from restraints of the past maybe maybe negative restraints of the past yeah because the nine of pentacles is a really positive card the peacock in the background symbolizes um abundance um prosperity so yeah exactly this is about um happiness in the home taking care of the family, people who mean something to you, people who are close to you, and, you know, making the right choices, finding the right balance in life to appreciate your home life as well as focus on gaining material wealth and security as well. And then, oh my goodness, this is... I mean, these, card, these two cards are so positive. This is you, you have a nine. You achieve the world, a major completion a major, major completion, achievement, success, material um, wealth, um, spiritual growth, emotional growth, um, massive experience, worldly wisdom. Yeah, this, this, and this, this kind of like this uh, cloth around this lady, it talks about spiritual growth as well as, um, you know, from the journey that you've been on. Um, as well as physical growth, stepping into your new life. And this is really a card of abundance. Um, it can be also a card of um, birth, uh, a new baby maybe for some of you. Um, but it's also about... Yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is purity, so this is about that these people are naked. It's generally a child that's naked on the way, uh, Rider Waite tarot deck. Um, and it kind of talks about the, it's almost like um, a rebirth with an awakening of the soul, an awareness of the soul, um, the soul understanding its journey now, um, where you've kind of like lost, you know, you've shed your ego, you've shed things that are materialistic, if you like, or just solely materialistic, and you've become a more complete person as a result. Um, so this is talking about renewal, um, happiness, abundance. Um, there's a real purity, there's a real catharsis to the sun as well. Um, letting go of the past and being positive for the future. This is where you move forward. You see the road in front of you. You know the direction that you're going. You know the direction you're going now. You're clear. You have your goal orientated. And um, as I say, this is you stepping into your new life, maybe after some pretty difficult obstacles, negativities, um, tricky situations, negative people encountering all sorts. Um, but you're actually walking through now to the other side, so you're coming through it. And the Page of Cups, 
it can talk about love. Um, it can talk about um, new love, um, renewal of love. Uh, maybe a love of yourself. Maybe seizing opportunities that are not just materially gratifying, but emotionally gratifying as well. So yeah, it's a beautiful card again. Another, another card of change, you know, following the world. Um, grabbing hold of potential now with both hands and knowing the direction which you're going in. And we end with the Nine of Wands, a perseverance, um, a forward looking for your future. There's opportunity all around you. And though you might be a bit tired, I kind of think that there's an unexpected um, appreciation of what you've accomplished so far. So even though the road has been difficult in some respects, it would have been difficult to get to this point, Libra. You know, you've achieved so much, so much. You've achieved so much potential, you see. You've taken advantage of so many opportunities and you're ready to move forward with new passion, with a conviction, with um, real action and determination for the future. Yeah, and this is really about... Um, optimism, self-love, um, appreciation of what you've accomplished. So yeah, as I say, I think that's beautiful. So Libra, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, I also have the weekly and monthly readings, but I hope it's a great year, 2019, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.